Well, it's uh, February 26th, and yesterday I went to the creek and uh, found this piece, and um, I didn't film it because I didn't think it was really anything. It was in the water, and it was sitting in the water like that, and I thought it was broke, and so on, so I didn't film it, and I got it pulled out, and I realized it was something, but... Uh, Originally, I thought this was the base, and I thought this was the blade in, and it was broke. <clears throat> well, I pulled it out of there, and of course, found out that, you know, I was wrong, and this was the base, and that was the tip. And I don't know what I got. It's got some pretty old flaking in it. A calf creek was found there. Well... Pretty close to this, some a few, few years back, but it's got a big old ugly stack on it right there where it's been broke, but it, it, it's been reworked. Oh, come on, camera. There we go. Maybe it has a spoke shave or something. But it's got a flute up it too. My camera is not wanting to work today. Here we go. So you know, any help identifying that would be greatly appreciated. Opinions are wanted. I don't know what it is. It's probably about three three inches long. One second. Three and a half inches long. Inch and three quarters wide at the base. <clears throat> so. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think it is. I'm sure curious as to find out. It's not pretty. It's got really cool flaking up, you know. And uh, also, I did the DNA thing, and uh, coming to find out, well, I already knew I was Native American, but Scandinavian, and Finnish, and then way back, way, way back, Iberian, then most recently, British. Irish, French, and German. In Cherokee, well, the Native American, I know is Cherokee. My uh, great grandmother on my grandfather's side was full blooded Cherokee. And then uh, my great grandmother on my grandmother's side was full blood Cherokee. And uh, my great great grandfather was full blood Cherokee. And uh, the great grandmother on my grandfather's side, uh, Nancy, Grandma Nancy, she was uh, on the Trail of Tears. So, pretty cool. And uh, apparently, I descend from Vikings. Well, so that's kind of cool. But the coolest thing about this, let's see if I can get back to it. Uh, is this part. I think it's cool. Some might not, but let me see here. 
computer's slow as Christmas. I have more Neanderthal variants than 52% of 23andMe customers. Out of, out of 300 in... Hold on, I'll have to tell you. I gotta find it. I'm in first place. Um, I don't know, 300 and I think 359 variants. I have 279. So, you know, they didn't go extinct. We're still here. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> I've I've talked to a lot of people about it, and apparently uh, they don't. They think it's. They think it's a. Uh, a bad thing, but I think it's pretty cool. There it is. the The highest is three hundred ninety seven variants, and I have. 279 I'm number one I'm a, I'm a Viking a Native American Viking Neanderthal <laughs> so that's pretty cool anyway I highly recommend that doing that if anybody really wants to know uh, you know about that stuff it it uh, it gives you your maternal haplogroup and your paternal and Tells you your uh, ancestry composition, which you know is your German and, or whatever you may be. Uh, basically, I am, um, and I don't mean to sound uh, oh, I don't, I don't mean to sound imp politically incorrect by any means, but I am the whitest Indian that you'll probably ever see. <laughs> but, uh, 4% uh, 4 native, I think is what it was. But, uh, definitely Scandinavian and Finnish. A lot of Finnish. And, and the German comes in on my father's side. Well, and on my mother's side, but more so on my father's side. Uh, my uh, grandparents, my grandma on my father's side, the family was from Germany, and they were Dunkards, which, in case you don't know, is kind of like Mennonites or Amish. And uh, they they fled from Germany because they were being persecuted for their religion, which was like, I guess, pretty close to Baptist, sort of. But they were passive-aggressive, and my uh, my great-grandfather owned a store, and he got robbed every week because, you know, that, the bad guys knew that they were passive. And uh, my grandpa got... Uh, fed up with it, bought a shotgun. The bad guys came in. There's three of them. He killed all three of them. I don't know how he did it, but he did it. But anyway, they kicked him out of the out of the uh, Dunkard community, and that's why I'm not a Dunkard. <laughs> Grandpa wouldn't take no crap. Got tired of it. Anyway, highly recommend doing it. I think it's worth the money. It's only like a hundred bucks, and. Uh, it's pretty, there's a lot more uh, stuff I'm not going to show on here, but there's a, you can, you can break each group down and it, and it tells you a lot of stuff. I'm going to do another one from another company and compare. Uh, I'm, I'm more interested in finding out about the native and I think it's more detailed. I did this one because it, it's the only one that tests for Neanderthal DNA. So I thought that was pretty cool. And uh, come find out. That's exactly what I am. It kind of explains a lot. <laughs>
if you watched any of my videos, you, you might understand. But uh, anyway, found that yesterday. Let me know what you think it is. It's kind of rough, but it's fluted. And it's not broke. I believe it was fluted intentional. I mean, it's definitely a thin strike on the end of that. Of course, there it is right there. It goes all that flute comes all the way up to here. I don't know if, I mean, if that's paleo, it, to me it looks early archaic at least. Uh, but it could be, uh, dare I say, you know, clovis -y? I don't know. Could be some kind of early Dalton. Could be a Calf Creek type preform thing, but I've never seen a Calf Creek with a flute up it, so. Uh, but that didn't mean nothing. I ain't no expert. It looks old. I believe it's early archaic paleo, but I could be totally wrong and uh, willing to admit that, but I sure would like to know what you guys think. Been working on some blades. This sucker's like a scalpel horseshoe file. Burl maple handle. About 13 and a half inches long. Dozer's on, on guard. Aren't you, Dozer? Psst. Goofy dog. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. And uh, let me know what you think. Have a good one, guys. Talk to you later. Be safe out there and find some killers.